In the starting position, the pivot joint of the neck would be the, would be flexion because you are looking at the ball. The ball and socket of the joint of the shoulder would be depression on both of the shoulders. The hinge joint of the elbows would be adduction for both of them. The plane joint of the, red, the wrist would be supination. The pivot joint of the hip is square. The ball and socket of the joint of the femur. The left would be flexion and the right femur would be extension. And the plane joint of the ankle will be plantar flexion for both of them. The transitional movement for the drop kick, the pivot joint of the neck would be flexion. Ball and socket of the shoulder, both left and right, are elevated. Then we have the hinge joint of the elbow, both left and right are extension. The plane joint of the wrist, both right and left, is pronation. Then we have the hinge joint of the phalanges, right is flexion, the left is extension. Pivot joint of the hips is left side is lateral rotation. Your right side is in line with your body. The ball and socket joint of the femur, the left side is extension, the right side is flexion. Then you have the hinge joint of your knee, which is left side is extended, right side is flexion. Last but not least, we have the ball and socket joint of femur, which is the right side is flexion and left side is extension. After the transitional position, we go into the kicking position. During this position, the pivot joint of the neck shows retraction. The ball and socket of the right shoulder is laterally rotated and elevated and also shows circumduction. The left shows depression and it is also laterally rotated and circumducting. The hinge joint of the elbow for the right shows extension and the left flexion. The plane joint of the wrist for the right is pointed and rotated while on the left it is supinated and flexing. The pivot joint of the hip is laterally rotated to the left and the ball and socket joints of the femur shows flexion on both. The hinge joint of the knee is flexed on the right and extended on the left. The plane joint of the ankle shows plantar flexion on both the left and right feet. And because plantar flexion is evident on both the left and right feet, the condylar joints of the phalanges all show extension. In the final position, we have the pivot joint of the neck, and this is in a protraction. Next up, we have the ball and socket joint of the shoulders. This is in an elevation position. Then we have on your arms, you have your elbows with the hinge joints. The left is in flexion and the right is in circumduction. At your hips, you have your pivot joints, which is just in rotation. For the ball and socket of your femur, both of your legs are in flexion, and then the hinge joint of your knee, both are flexion. For your ankle, you have your plane joints, and both are in plantar flexion! <laughs>